Today we are talking about the power of surrendering, the power of letting go of control of the 3D and basically retracting your energy, putting that energy into you and your life. And I'm going to share a story of a client of mine who went from no contact, basically being ghosted and ignored, to several texts a day and planning dates. So that's what we are going to talk about today. But before we get into it, hello everyone, my name is Al. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're interested in coaching, take a look at my description box. All information it is that. But right now, let's get into today's topic. Most of you guys here watching this video already know a few things about manifestation. You have probably already manifested something or you are manifesting something consciously right now. And that something is probably a specific person. Chances are that you have been doing your affirmations, your visualizations, your scripting, your inner dialogues, all of these good things. You know, these are techniques and techniques are the tools we use to shift into a different mindset, to imprint our subconscious mind with the idea of our desire and rewire our brain, how we are seeing, you know, this reality, this 3D, how we are feeling about ourselves and other people. Um, the problem is that sometimes we hold on to techniques because we fear that if we stopped doing them, we would not get our desire. And this is not true. All you need to manifest your desire is you. You've got all of the tools that you need to achieve anything that you want in your life. It's all within you. It's your own divine imagination. It has nothing to do with earning your manifestation. You have done enough. You know, when that desire comes up within you, it is already yours. It's destined to you. But you are not in the state that can sustain that reality. So what do we do? We work on ourselves. We take a look at how we are seeing ourselves, how we are seeing our desire, how we are seeing everything. It's like Neville said, let me read this to you. Stop trying to change the world, since it's only the mirror. Men's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Leave the mirror and change your face. Leave the world alone and change your conception of yourself. The reflection then will be satisfactory. Imagination is the only reality. Whatever you have experienced within, you're going to experience without, okay? This is how we create the 3D. Maybe you haven't imagined everything that is happening in the 3D, but the way that you see yourself, the way that you see the world and the rules that you have created for yourself and, you know, relationships, work, money, the ideas that you are carrying within you, you know, they have created everything that is happening in your life right now and this is malleable this is not that to stay unless you stay the same person you continue seeing life that way but everything that happens in your life it's just an option okay and you decide am i going to believe in this or not am i going to choose it am i going to choose that reality that story or Am I going to choose something else? Something that I really want to experience? A client of mine was going through a situation that probably many of you are going through right now. She was in this on and off relationship with her specific person. She manifested him every time to come in and text her, but it wasn't really what she wanted. And it was more like breadcrumbs. And at some point he left. He ghosted her again and again and she was really feeling that rejection when she started coaching with me we talked about her state she was needy she was obsessed she was really driving herself into a burnout because she was doing all of these techniques all day long you know her entire day 
was about her speeding, and there was nothing that she was doing for herself. So we started this new journey of hers by building up her confidence in herself and manifestation, and choosing beliefs, working on beliefs that would give her the necessary tools to let go of the obsession, to let go of this neediness that she was experiencing, that was driving her crazy, because she was not able to think about anything else but her specific person, and her specific person not being there. So we worked on beliefs that would make possible for her to move on with her life, to focus on herself, to be happy and feel fulfilled and enjoy everything that was going on for her because there was a lot going on for her. She just could not enjoy it. Like many people, she was holding on to techniques out of fear. She feared that if she would stop doing this, she was literally giving up her relationship, that person, she would never get that person again in her life. And her story was, yes, she was manifesting um, her specific person back into her life to say, hey, how are you? You know, that wasn't satisfactory. That wasn't what she wanted. That's a big sign when you keep doing this, that there is something wrong with the foundation of your beliefs. Okay, you can manifest, you can see that. But what is not happening is you're not getting what you want. So how come? That should be the question. And the answer is, there is something in your beliefs about yourself and relationships that are stopping you from achieving what you want. That was her situation. And I was like, okay, let's try something really crazy. Let's take a break of focusing on him and let's put that energy back on yourself. Let's see what is it that is not allowing you to achieve the full manifestation because it wants to manifest. That's why he's coming back, right? So let's take a look at what's going on within you. What is creating the ghosting? What is creating the third party, the no commitment, um, the no contact, the ignoring or breadcrumbs, you know, whatever you want to call this. Let's see what kind of beliefs are there about relationships, about yourself. They are not allowing you to sustain the state of the wish fulfilled and manifest your desire. And every week I could see that she was getting better, she was getting stronger, she was having fun, she was able to enjoy her life, you know, and she was thinking less and less about him. And guess what happened? Within four weeks, guess who contacted her? He, he contacted her. But this time she was different. She was not waiting by the phone to see his text. She was living her life. She was pleasant that he contacted her, but she was not desperate. And she didn't go back to obsessing or doubting herself. No, she was happy. She was fulfilled. And he started texting more and more and more. And right now, guess what? They text every day, several times a day. And he is planning a trip to go see her, to take her on a date. You know, the 3D could only change because she changed first. She is a different person. She knows her value. She knows her worth. And she knows she is the prize. And because she knows that, he knows that too. It's amazing when you can finally put that energy that you are spending, that you are licking towards other people into yourself when you are in your frame. But you know what else happens when you do that? You're not wobbling. You're not being consistent. You are not thinking about the lack. You're not contradicting yourself and your desire. You're not um, allowing things and circumstances and temporary 3D to change how you feel about yourself, to take you off your balance. And when you do that, when you're just focused on filling your own cup, enjoying your life, being satisfied with what you have that's good, that's going on in your life, 
The universe is behind the scenes working its magic for you. Because the universe or higher self, consciousness, God, you can call it whatever you want. It wants you to succeed. It wants you to achieve what you want. But you have to be certain about what you want. Sometimes you want to be with them. Sometimes you focus on the third party. So for the universe, this is what you want. Sometimes you focus on the lack of contact. So that's what you want. You get more of that. Okay, your subconscious mind, consciousness, it's not judgmental. Be aware of what you focus on because that's what you are going to get. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad because it's not going to decide it for you. You decide it. So when you've done the work, when you have been present in your imaginal act, go back to yourself. Retract your energy. Make this life amazing for you. For you, the most important person in your reality. Be your own priority. You deserve it. Okay, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and we are going to talk soon. Bye, guys.